Friday, I'm Christine McDonald from Rushing River Apiaries, and today I am putting some queen cells into nukes. So these are cells that I grafted. I have them in my handy little carry cell um, lunchbox incubator. I can plug into my truck to keep them warm, and then it's nice and portable. Cute little cells. I had a really good take. My best take. Maybe ever, I, I've probably had one or two like this before, but got 43 out of 45. The elusive 100% um, is something I will continue to strive for, but pretty happy with 43 queens at a time. So um, this is day 11 for these cells. So I'm putting them in. We're headed away on vacation next week. So I look forward to coming back and seeing that they've all emerged and hopefully mated up. I can usually manage to sneak the cell down in there without pulling a frame if I'm careful. And then just make sure to squeeze everything tight back together because we are in a huge nectar flow and I don't want them plugging stuff up around the middle of the nest if they have too much room. Um, the brick language that we use here, a vertical brick like this, means that that nuke is in need of a queen cell. Um, once I give it a cell, then the brick goes flat like that. That means that we are expecting a queen in there. And then once it's queen right, it gets flipped like this. Um, that gives us a really kind of simple visual so as soon as we come into a yard we know exactly who needs what um, in our nukes or if we're looking for a queen where we can find a mated queen. We do all of our queen rearing right in nukes. Um, we're not in it for producing queens for sale. Uh, we just do this for our own kind of queen replacement and growing our own operation. Um, so the nukes work well. For us, we can either harvest the queen and stick another cell in, or we can just use the whole nuke and combine it, which is what we do more often than not. Let's pry those apart. The cell just gets pressed right into the wax um, above the brood nest. So it hangs down like you would expect a natural queen cell. Two. We only put two frames of brood in these nukes. Um, we find that's plenty to support a queen while she gets mated. And then our nukes from earlier in the summer usually grow into full-size hives to overwinter. These ones that we're doing a little later in the year, um, we'll probably end up combining them with hives that need to be requeened after our honey production is done. That angry little bee there, get off me. Oh. Ooh, it is hot today and we have a major nectar flow on the go, so Lots of active things. These nukes, they're all side by side, but we have them set up so that the uh, entrances are facing alternating directions um, to make it a little easier for the queens to find their way back to their own after their mating flights. And also their entrance reducers are painted kind of different. So if you look at the entrance reducers are uniquely painted and then even our benches, we uh, had some kids paint them for us so that they have kind of distinct features in front of each nuke and that helps the queens find their way back to their own. So I'll pull a frame out here and show you where I'm positioning the cell kind of relative to the brood. I can usually just see down in make enough of a gap that I can see down in. But just to show you here, I'm gonna put it, if the brood comes right up to the top, then I put it right up at the top of the frame. If there's kind of a rim of honey here, then I put it below 
the honey. And then of course, really careful when I'm putting it back in that it's not gonna rub against a neighboring frame and knock that cell off. So if these cells are already on day 11, then it means they're gonna emerge in five days Kind of mature and mate around five days after that and be showing eggs five days after that so by the time i get back from my little summer holiday we'll be looking for evidence of these new queens and that's kind of the latest dates for everything while i'm out here i'll just show you a little bit at this yard it's uh probably our most productive yard this year it's been our most productive yard. There's got to really stand back to see the full <laughs> height here. There's all of our mating nukes against the side. These are our biggest producers right here. It's ridiculous. We're having a record-breaking honey year. Some more tall ones in the back there. That's it was those we were digging to the bottom of to get brewed out <laughs> the other day. I'm not sad that little tour is over. Well, thanks for joining me on my little bee errand for this evening. Um, if you have not subscribed, I would greatly appreciate it if you'd hit subscribe as I try to build up a bit more of a presence here on YouTube. Thanks. Happy beekeeping.